everyone, I'm back with another guide. I know I haven't been very active lately, but I've been very limited with time, and I thought I should really make this video as I've released version 6 of my M-Logic tools. Um, this is not a, it's, it's a... It's a big update internally. Um, as for feature-wise, it was not so big. The tool now does completely support Android 5.0, all the way up to Android 8.1 and I'm in the process of implementing 9.0 compatibilities. There are a lot of issues but I'm, I'm getting there. So, first of all you want to head over to the XDA um, developers um, forum and navigate to my, to, to my tools. We want to go and download the tools from here. Uh, version 6.0 is the latest. There's also a donate version. It it does have much more features and it's sort of more orientated for developers who are trying to redistribute their their firmware for um, wholesale purposes and stuff like that. So yeah, once you've downloaded the tool, extract extract it to your PC, pretty much anywhere. It's it's um it's completely portable, and go ahead and run the customization tool. Okay. So first thing we want to do is unpack our firmware. Now, you want a firmware for your device, so I suggest you look online for a stock firmware and go and download it. And this is where you'll select that firmware. If it's in a zip, if it's in the zip format, you can select the zip format as well. But just be careful that this image isn't this single image isn't just zipped in a zip file for um, saving space. So yeah, if it's a recovery updatable zip then you can still, you can unpack it but if it's just a zip with uh, containing this file you want to extract this file first and then select it we'll unpack all the way to level 3 and I'll be back in a second when unpacking is finished so we're back unpacking is complete as you can see and you're initially greeted with this message right here um, this is just some product information about the firmware and the device it runs on. It doesn't tell you too much, but it does tell you enough for you to know which device it's for. This is the user interface tab. Um, we continue with that. Continue. Don't worry about that, it's just a little bug. Um, that's a boot animation. This is the boot logo. I haven't implemented a wallpaper for a wallpaper changing abilities for this specific um, launcher, but it will be added soon. You can go to the applications tab and you can add or remove applications from here. Kernel and recovery. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me how to replace a stock recovery with Team Room Recovery Project. First of all, you want to go and download a recovery for your device that works on your device. Um, it may be in the in the format of an image, uh, like .img. So you can you can download it and click replace recovery, and simply select that file. And let's say you do that. Um, okay, not much changes here, but for the donate version, we have now added the ability to implement ad blocking system wide. Simply select that button, and the tool does it, uh, works itself. Um, this automated debloating. This is a feature more for people who want to um, distribute their boxes with their firmware on it and pr produce updates. This makes it a lot easier instead of having to go and manually delete file by file. This is a scripting language that I developed specifically for just removing files. It's a nice little touch. Um, the version 6.0 also provides the capabilities of modifying the partition table. For example, if your if your system partition is has two gigabytes allocated to it, and only less than one point two gigabytes is used, you can change that from two gigabytes to one point two gigabytes, and that essentially allows more space for the user of the device to store more files. It's not that much, but a couple hundred megabytes, everyone's going to be happy. Um, this tab is just uh, the usual repacking tab. So, now we'll go into manual editing, um, changing boot animations and um, wallpapers manually. So, you want to head over to the tool, 
you want to go into the temp folder level 2 is where everything's unpacked so I suggest you head there you go to system alright so now in system we will cover branding your ROM first so we will start off with that you want to open the build prop for ARM file and you want to head to near the start row build display ID you want to edit that and change it to whatever you would like to name your ROM for example so take the file and now when the user is going to settings and it says um, it says build information you won't display the build information it'll, it'll, it'll display Ricky's ROM okay now let's cover changing the boot animation so within logic devices it's pretty neat how they've got it worked out it supports boot animation .zip files and boot videos which are an mp4 format so for a boot to change the boot animation as a zip file, all you have to do is head over to system media and replace this boot animation.zip file with your own. To change it from a from running boot animation zip to the boot video, you want to head over to the build prop again, which is right here in the root directory of system, and search for boot video, which is here. You want to set that to one and say then you want to get your mp4 file um, for example say any mp4 file you like that that's a video you want to you want to move it to the etc folder and you want to make sure it's named boot video remove the mp4 extension it has to be named specifically just boot video and that's it yes and that will enable a boot video. If that was an MP4 file, it will run on boot. Uh, next, okay, removing and adding apps manually. First of all, these are directories that have applications in them. These are the system applications. You can debloat your firmware quite a lot by just going through these and removing unneeded applications. Um, say for example, if you don't like the stock file manager, you can just simply delete that folder and it'll delete the file manager. If you want to add applications, you get an APK file and just drag and drop it in this folder. However, users won't be able to remove that application if they don't like it. If you want to add applications to your to your firmware that get installed as an application from the store, so users are, una are, are able to uh, remove the application by going to settings, applications and uninstall, you want to add it to the pre-install folder. Now, not all not all firmwares have this folder, so if your firmware does, you can definitely just drop your applications in there that you would like installed for users to add or remove. Hey, um, well that's pretty much it for the tutorial. I'll give you a quick repack example. So we have, head over to packaging, repack to MLogic upgrade package, and uh, same at Ricky's. Wrong. Save it. It'll repackage it. Now version 6.0 of my tools supports from Android 5.0 all the way up to Android 8.1. It also has complete vendor support. Um, there's Project Treble which has been implemented in Android quite recently which sort of separates um, manufacturers and vendors with the ability, for, the ability for vendors to simply modify their own partition without having to touch the manufacturers. It's just a way, uh, uh, Google's way of reducing bugs and and making it easier for vendors to adjust their firmwares. Alright guys, that's the repack example. Um, if you want to flash this, all you need to do is go ahead over to the USB burning tool, select your select your firmware that we just built. After selecting the firmware, you want to connect your device via USB mail to mail cable and click start and that will flash your newly created firmware. Thanks for watching the video guys, um, see you next time.